guys, so I am finally back for a new video. I'm really sorry, I only had one video up last week and that's because I had an exam yesterday and I really had to revise for it and I was working a lot so I just didn't have the time to film. And you guys know me, I always try to make time to film but um, at least I had one up last week. So um, I'm probably going to just upload two, two videos a week now because... I really need to catch up on some like um, modules because I was concentrating on one module and I was kind of you know leaving out the other two so I've got a lot of catching up to do but today I will be filming something a bit different and it's um, just a few products that I've got but I haven't tried yet so I'll be kind of doing a first impression review on a few of them. So I've already got my brows done and I've got my foundation on I use the Milani 2-in-1 foundation which is like my favourite favourite foundation or well, drugstore foundation. So the first thing that I want to try is this uh, eyeshadow palette that my mum gave me and it's this um, L'Oreal eyeshadow palette and it's called the Le I don't even know so this um, eye palette is called Colorish Les Ombres and it's in the shade Jungle Jade and I'm just going to try a few colours in here and see how they are I'm just going to prime my lids first with the, the Balm Put a Lid On It eye primer so I'm just going to use the green one first to put all over my lid. Quite pigmented actually. I've never really tried L'Oreal eyeshadows. So I'm really zoomed in right now and as you can see that's really really pretty. And that was just using this colour right here. So now I'm just going to take some of the this colour here, I would say. No, actually, I'm going to take the darker one. You have to be a bit careful with it, because it's actually really pigmented. I mean... The only thing I would say that about this palette is that I don't think it should have like all shimmery colours because I don't really recommend putting shimmery colours in the crease. And then I'm going to take the lightest colour in the palette and highlight. It's really pretty. The inner corner. For a drugstore palette, that's really not bad. I'd probably rate this maybe like a 7 out of 10. Reason why is um, I just don't think they should be all shimmery. And um, I think that's the main reason actually. The colours are pretty, they're pigmented. I don't know how if they last long, but I think any shadow lasts long. Um, especially something that's pigmented and buttery as this one. I would say that if you've got a look good... Um, called um, eyelid primer um, it should last long because they do feel very pigmented uh, so the next thing that I recently got is the morphe um, concealer and I got the shade what's the shade honey and this was like 395 I believe on beauty base so I just wanted to see how it is so it's like a nice little chunky mini bottle like this so I'm just going to try this on. That's so weird. It has like a vanilla smell. That's really weird. I've never seen a concealer that has a vanilla smell. I mean, the shade is perfect, I would say. Gosh, my chair's making so much noise. I just like to go with my foundation brush just to blend like the edges. 
actually don't think that's really bad. I mean, I didn't see Manny MUA. Do, I think he said something that it wasn't that great, and I'm not really expecting much from like a three pound concealer. But it's actually not that bad. Like if I if I would wear this to uni and just set it with a good setting powder. I'm actually gonna use the Kat Von D loose setting powder just to set that in place. I like to take the sponge and set it. So the next thing that I'm gonna try is the uh, um, Master Strobing Stick by Maybelline and this one's in medium nude glow. This is what it looks like. And it's just gonna put like a little stick like this. And I'm just gonna apply this on my cheeks. Just blend it in with my finger. It's not your everyday, it's not like your intense highlight, but it's actually really pretty because it gives like a really nice inner glow. Like that's really pretty. It looks wet, like it looks like a wet highlighter. So I definitely love this. And it feels very, very creamy and it's just very easy to blend so I'm definitely going to be using this a lot that's really pretty yeah, definitely love this I'm loving everything right now and then the next thing I got is this Lime Crime Velveteen um, it's a liquid matte lipstick and I got the colour Shroom and it's very very similar to the colour Kylie Jenner lip kit in Brown Sugar um, and I saw this on uh, Beauty Bay and I just had to, well I don't know, I was looking at the shades and then I saw this one and I just fell in love so um, this is what it looks like I know there was this whole scandal with them at one point but I think, I don't know what to think about it but it was with Beauty Bay and I trust Beauty Bay and I've had a lot of people rave about these so I really wanted to try one um, so I'm going to try this one It has a nice sweet scent to it as well. So that's very similar to brown sugar. I mean, I'm gonna let it dry and see how it dries. So yeah, I definitely have to say that one thing that I really don't like about the eyeshadow is that it's all shimmery and it just looks really, really messy. Like, you can't get like a clean eyeshadow look with this. It's just, it looks just like all shimmer. Um, and there's no like dimension and, or depth to it. It's just color slapped on my eye, basically. So that's one reason, that's why I'm not too fond of it. I love the shades, I love the pigmentation, but they're probably good as individual eyeshadows, but not as a palette, because you can't really do much with it because they're all shimmery. I wish they had like a matte brown in there, like that would have made the palette, so. Um, yeah, in terms of this lipstick, <sighs> definitely my color. It's really pretty, I absolutely love this color. Like the color is perfect, I love the color. It's like my nude. I love it. My most favourite product right now is the lipstick. I love I love the lipstick colour. Anyways, this is the end of this video. I really hope you guys like this type of video. And if you want to see more like this one, let me know in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you all next time. Bye guys. <laughs>